we've talked about the three tips to create engaging and authentic video content in part one. So here's the rest of it in part two. Four, make sure your videos are of good quality. You want high quality videos with good lighting, clear audio, and a background that is not too distracting. It doesn't take expensive equipment to make good resume videos. You don't necessarily need studio lights. Choose to shoot near a good source of natural light. Even without a microphone, shooting in quiet spaces can really contribute to good audio. Clearing out the clutter in one part of your home for the shooting also ensures your background is not too distracting. Good video quality can be achieved even with a phone camera. Here's an example of how you can improve the video quality settings when recording on your iPhone. Head to Settings, Camera, and change the camera video quality to 1080p. There are many good camera phones out there. You simply need to understand how to use them. 5. Know your brand. What do you stand for? Think about your values, purpose, and mission. Self-awareness for your business or personal brand shows that you have an adequate understanding of yourself and is key to shaping your brand voice. It builds confidence in your abilities, but also ensures your intended messages are well conveyed. For example, if you do better with showing than telling, use demonstrations in your video resume to illustrate a point. 6. Be an awesome storyteller. People love stories. They evoke emotional responses and help build connection and trust. Tell your brand as a short story when relevant. For example, as a presenter host, it might be surprising to hear, but I'm a pretty reserved and quiet person. However, every project I work on reminds me of the importance of human connection and the joy of interaction with others. I love my job. That's why if you're looking for a TV presenter with passion and perseverance despite adversity, I'm the right person for you. 7. Ensure your video is in the right format. I saved the simplest but most important tip for last. To make it easier for you, shoot and save your video in these recommended settings. That's about it for this video. If you missed out on part 1 of this video, make sure to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video if you found it useful. Also hit the notification bell to get first tips on our latest videos. You can also find out more on video resume making on our channel and get closer to your dream job today.